it's super in Arizona today guys I'm out here in North Glendale I'm on the corner of 35th Avenue and Deer Valley I've been wanting to get you guys out here and show you this area this to say that North Glendale or Glendale had the highest population in Arizona for millionaires you know you got parts of Glendale that's considered rough and tough and parts of Glendale that's not so rough and tough this particular area well you got I mean if I go south of here far south oh here comes a cool car hey if you go far south of here it's kind of rough and tough if you like right on the street of Glendale and in that whole area but as you get north it's supposed to get nicer and it does get nicer right here where I'm at though this is kind of a unique spot it isn't the nicest area I mean over here you get uh want to know how to put it I'm just gonna show you and you put it together I'm gonna start this video off though I'm running here into this uh, circle K. I had to go get me a water guys because it's supposed to be like a hundred degrees and then we're gonna go right down the street and I'm gonna show you the neighborhood. Hello. Hey there, how's it going? Excellent, excellent. Yeah, today it's supposed to be like a hundred degrees or so and uh, it's starting to warm up a little bit right now. Anyway, let me just pop in here and get myself a water. And then we, there we go, right here. What we having today, guys? What we having today? You know what, guys? We're gonna do a big today. We're gonna do a big. Should we go feed you? So, uh, what this area is, guys, it's more like about. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna ask the lady that worked here how would she describe the area? How are you today? Are you? I'm doing great. I was just trying to describe this area. How would you describe this area? Do you live over here? No. Oh, it's okay to work in. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? That's all? Better than South Phoenix. That's all I can say. Yeah, I hear you. You used to live in South Phoenix? No, I used to work down there. There's a little, little riffraff going on? Yeah, just a bit. A little riffraff out here? Not much. Not much. All right, guys, so you guys heard it from her yourself. You know, I think that she was just throwing that out there, y'all. You guys going to have to get a feel for the area yourself. I'm going to show you around to call it for yourself. Working finance, God bless. No, this not by chance. No. Don't doubt me. Before we get into this video, guys, this is a sponsored video, and I want to thank this good people over at Chicago's own Darius Natural Hair Salon. Chicago's own Daria Naturals Salon, a full service salon is right here in Phoenix, Arizona. Owner and celebrity stylist Daria specializes in natural hair care. Book your next appointment for dreadlocks, press, braids, crochet, weaves, extensions, eyelashes, nails, they do it all. Or book an appointment with the barber for your next haircut, line, or shave. Chicago's own Daria Natural Salon is Phoenix, Arizona's top full service salon. So book your appointment now. Visit the website DariusNaturals.com. Follow on Instagram Daria Naturals or call 602 612-4117 and don't forget to tell them Big Super sent you. This is literally just right down the street. This is uh looks like a decent block. You know a decent block. Y'all seen what we just came through to get to this block. So let me just show you the block. Anyway guys this is the property that we're taking a look at today. This, guys, is a three-bedroom, two-bath, 
1,400 square foot. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,400 square foot. Wanted you guys to see the neighborhood so you could see what you're getting for that price. So let's go in, let's take a look. Okay guys, so right off, as you see, it's pretty open area, open, almost over floor plan. Older home, not as new. As you see the ceilings, I could, I could touch the ceiling. So the ceilings aren't that tall. Looks like we have a uh, tile flooring. Looks like we have tile flooring throughout. We're gonna have the bedrooms down on that end. And then this end here will be the family room, kitchen, that whole deal. So when you walk in the door, you're walking immediately into the family room. That's where we're at right, right here. Probably have your TV and all those things sitting there or maybe sitting there, I guess. Right off of the door, I don't know how you would set that up. But this would be considered the family room. From there, that would be where your dinette set would go. And they have a pretty sizable kitchen. I actually kind of dig this uh, kitchen. I like what they've done here. It looks like they did. It looks like it's possibly. It looks like it's possible that they remodeled this place to give it the openness. Cause, you, as you guys know, it's all about the open floor plan these days. So it looks like. It looks like they possibly remodeled it and made this thing like an open floor plan. New cabinets. Got your stove there. Electric stove. Lots of cabinet space. Lots of countertop space. Sink in the countertop. Double sink, gooseneck. And again, white cabinets. There's your fridge. This is gonna be your, uh, okay, that's your pantry there. Laundry room. And this would be two car garage. I'm gonna see, y'all wanna see it? I was gonna save you the trouble. Two car garage. Okay. We'll do, the, we'll do the backyard last. So we get out of here, and it's off to the bedrooms. The three bedrooms here. This is a three bedroom. Here's a little coat closet. Right here is a little linen closet. The slider doors. Cool. And here's our this looks like it's a master, so we're not gonna go there. We'll go there last. We'll continue this way. Here's our bedroom number one. Hey. Not the smallest bedroom in the world. It took up some space to, uh, to make for a walk-in closet. And we have the carpeted, we have the carpeted bedroom so it looks like all the, uh, the bedrooms have carpet here's our bedroom right up at the front door this is a much smaller bedroom there's your closet and here's your bathroom your first bathroom Toilet, straight to it, right? Straight to the point. Standing shower, surround. There's your sink. So those two bedrooms, and then this is the third bedroom, right here. 
and this is the master. So master bedroom, guys, really is almost about as big as that front bedroom that we had seen. And we have your sink. Bathtub, stand and shower. Hey, that's where all the, you know, we got it at. Toilet area, separate, nice. So you don't have to sit there and look at the missus, do her thing. She can have, you guys can have some privacy there. And here's your walk-in closet. Pretty decent sized closet. Hey, pretty decent size. I can't reach the other side there. I'm there now though. But it's pretty decent. I can dig it. I can dig it. Okay, so we'll come from here and we'll check out the backyard. Right backyard guys, covered patio. As you guys already know, it's a necessity. There's your garbage cans. Awesome that it's uh, paved so you don't have to roll your garbage cans through gravel. As you look through the, the backyard though, gravel over the whole backyard. This is supposed to be the grass area. Um, so I take it that with some um, grass seeds, you could bring that grass back. Look like they removed some trees here, removed some trees. And then this is all paved. Somewhat of a little mountain view right there. That's it. Three bedroom, two bath. It looks like they got straight to the point. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull out of here and I'll let you guys know the price. This is considered a North Glendale. And I'll just tell you straight out, you know, what type of area this is. This particular area really is kind of like an old school, like a biker type of thing. I don't know if you guys, some of you guys are old enough to have seen the movie, the original 48 Hours with uh, Eric, with uh, Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. Um, but uh, do you remember <laughs> the villain Gans in that movie? That's what this neighborhood is like. It's like Gans in them. They over in this neighborhood. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. Uh, this was a three bedroom, two bath, 1,446 square foot. Guys, this home, this lovely home could be yours. And you know what, the 1,400 square foot, I, I think that uh, they used it really well. It really got right to the point. This home could be yours for $2,500 a month. So, this gentleman right here, he said that it's a great neighborhood. He said he likes it. He's been here forever. So, it's a great neighborhood. Um, $2,500 plus your taxes. You always have to remember, Arizona charged taxes on their rentals. So, freshly remodeled. This is what you're looking at. Some highway access, you know, that whole deal. So, um... Yeah, jump in those comments. Tell me what you think. This is your man, Big Super Over Now. Holla at your boy. Peace. I holla.